Hello, welcome to my channel. This is your brother, E.K. Frimpong, the teacher in the OKOK Ministries, Kingdom of Knowledge Ministries, impacting our generation. I'm very glad to be here with you. And today on Advice 101, we are looking at mentorship. Mentorship does not mean I'm here to mentor you, but I'm here to broaden your understanding on the concept of mentorship. The question is, whose shoe are you going to occupy? What is the future plan? What do you see yourself becoming in the next 10, 20, 30 years? Whose shoe in society are you going to occupy? The truth of the matter is this. We are all going to occupy a position in the future. And as I grow, this thing becomes clearer and clearer to me every day. You see, growing up in the neighborhood, I saw drunkards. I heard of born ones. I heard of prostitutes. I heard of weed smokers and bad nuts. This was when I was a teenager. Time passed, some died, some left the neighborhood, some we couldn't locate some of them. Others died on the way. But still, at my adult age, I went back to the neighborhood. And when I went back to the neighborhood, I still saw prostitutes. I still saw born ones. I still met with smokers and badness. And I tried to figure out, is there the same people I, I knew when I was a teenager? And I realized, no, they are not the same people. But new ones, young ones, my age mates, those I grew up with, have grown up to occupy these same positions. Was it in their plan? No. But how come they ended up that way? It is because they did not pick a mentor. They did not plan their life as to who they are growing up to fill their shoes. They did not plan as to whose shoes they are going up to fill. They did not set anyone as a target. So this is what I've come to understand, that as I grow, I must grow to fill up a vacant in the future. As I grow, I must, I'm growing to fill up a position in society in the future. And therefore, if I do not plan today, asking myself which positions I am going to occupy, then I will grow and occupy a position I did not plan for. So as I sit here, I have picked about three mentors I'm looking up to filling their, their positions. I'm looking at opening Kodotre. I'm looking at Uncle Ebo White. I'm looking at men like Steve Harvey. I'm going to occupy these positions I have set my eyes on. And I'm grooming myself, training myself, learning these folks, watching them, looking at how they are doing it, and preparing myself to take over their position when they are no more with us, when they have left us. And if God being so good to me and I happen to meet any of them, I'll bow and say, Father, groom me to occupy your position. Whose position are you going to occupy? Who have you set as a target that in the next 20, 30, 10 years, I will be like this person. I will go to fill up this man's position. We are going up to occupy a position in society. And until I and you pick up which position we are going to occupy, we will go up and occupy a position we never thought we never planned and we never ever imagined 
as being in that position. You see, when you pick someone today, you structure your life. You make sure you will be able to fit that position in the future. If you pick someone today, you will groom yourself to be such a person in the future. If you decide to become the president of Ghana in the next 30, 40 years, you will know what to post on social media. You know which pictures of you will go out there on social media. You will know what to say when presented with a mic. You will know the kind of things you will do on TikTok, on Instagram, and Facebook. When you are grooming yourself to occupy an important position, you adjust and structure yourself such that when you occupy that position, your past will not come and haunt you. As I go, I wish I knew this when I was a teenager. I wish I had this information when I was a little boy. Like I would have structured my life in such a way to occupy greater position, the position of great men. My brothers and sisters, today I'm discussing mentorship with you. And I'm advising you that as you step out there, pick someone you know that if God be so good and you live to this age, you will occupy that person's position. We are not doing copy and paste. We are not duplicating those people, but we are learning them to be better than them, to be modern than they are, and to be able to fix the problems of the future. I encourage you to pick someone in the public space. Pick someone around you and say, I'm going to become this man. I'm going to become this woman. If you are not picking anyone, then I'm sorry. The world, the structures of society will pick something, will pick a role for you, will pick a position for you, and you will grow to fill that position. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. This is your brother, E.K. Frimpong. I entreat you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. Let us know your experience. Share your knowledge with us and ask questions for us to address it. It is a blessing to have met you. Thank you and see you same time next week. Bye.